gold and oil may actually not hold their value in the future because there's another element which is expected to grow at 12 to 18 percent per annum for the next 20 years and all geopolitical relations are being built around controlling these elements. I am talking about rare earths. But what are rare earths? What are they used for? And how is it that China is using it against the world today? Well, I'll explain. It's a collection of 17 elements present in the earth, but two out of them, you know, neodymium and terbium are actually used to make high quality industrial magnets, stuff that is used in practically everything you use, all phones, earphones, you know, defense equipment, EVs, cars, and there is absolutely no substitute to these rare earth elements, which is why today if China stops their supply to the world, well, the world is going to cripple. And this is the reason why the recent US China tariffs have been resolved so quickly. Now, here's the thing, you know, over the past one century, a lot of countries that controlled oil supply of the world made a lot of money. But now there are three countries which hold the largest supply of rare earths in the world. The first is China, the second is Brazil, and the third is India. India today has more reserves than the US, than Australia, than Canada, than Indonesia, than Vietnam. But the real value is not in having reserves, but in actually being able to refine them. And China realized this back in the 1990s, where it started building refineries that that today it controls more than 90% the refining of the rare earths in the world and India if it wants to be relevant for the future will have to tap into this and start building refineries in fact one group has promised that it's setting up its first rare earth refining magnet factory in India announced in October 2024 let's hope it's the shining time for India and share it with someone who may need it